Well, hello everybody. My name is Matt Carter, and this is Halim Sa, and we are pastors at the Austin Stone Community Church in Austin, Texas. It's good to be with you today. We have written together a small group Bible study curriculum called Creation Unraveled, the Gospel According to Genesis. And we're excited to share this with you now and as your group goes through this through the days to come. Um, typically, if you are doing a study on the book of Genesis, maybe you would think we're going to spend a lot of time on creation, spend a lot of time on evolution, maybe uh, study things like when did the dinosaurs come in, things like that. But I want you to know that that's not what this Bible study is about. Our whole purpose for this Bible study is to show you that how from the very beginning, the very first book of the Bible, an Old Testament book that we've heard all these stories about through the years, the book of Genesis, is actually pointing us to the gospel. And we're going to show you that Jesus, the person of Jesus, the story of the cross, permeates every story, even from the very beginning of the Bible. And Holly, I want you to share with us how um, that the book of Genesis is not a collection of stories that we've heard since we were little kids in Sunday school. Yeah, and even when you think about the Bible as a whole, you know, we, we have a tendency to think about it being made up of 66 different books, written over thousands of years, written by many different authors. And so it's easy for us to think that the Bible and even the individual books of the Bible are a collection of different stories, each telling its own moral principle of how we ought to behave and live in this world. But we really want to show that the Bible is telling one grand story one grand story of, of God creating and Him creating this good and perfect world. And then creation unraveling as man deciding to uh, rebel against God and deciding to um, love the promises of sin rather than the promises of God. But then after that, God moving heaven and earth to restore and redeem man back to Himself. And so what we want to show is that from the very beginning, from the very book of Genesis, thousands of years before even the name of Jesus is ever uttered, that it gives us a foreshadowing of the gospel. That the gospel doesn't start in Matthew, it starts in Genesis. And our prayer for you, and, uh, and, and our prayer for your small group, um, and, and is that what happened to us and what's happened to me as we've taught this at our church, as we've studied and prepared for this lesson and this Bible study, what happened to you, and at the end of it, that you would understand the gospel, that you'd understand the cross, that you'd understand the story and the history of redemption better than you ever have. As you study the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis, that you would understand Jesus more than you ever have. That when we were dead in our trespasses and our sins, God made us alive together with Him through Christ Jesus. And it's by grace that you're saved.